All right, hello everybody. Welcome to the Nintendo Direct. First Direct, I guess, since 2019. Is that right? September 2019? It's like a year and a half. Holy shit. Uh, if there's any weird stuff going on with the recording, it's because my I'm getting a new PC. It's being built. They're having some issues finishing building it. Um, so I'm using my Mac. So uh, Macs are annoying when it comes to trying to do anything. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, so I'm connected to my mic, my webcam, uh, my display, and uh, I'm also plugged into charge because it's a laptop. So any weird crap happens, blame the Mac. But this is a new webcam. It's the Logitech Brio. Don't think it can do 4K on a Mac, but whatever. Here we go. All right, so I'm assuming they're going to start with Smash. Release dates will change because of COVID. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's like, it could change, depending on how it goes. But I've seen that, I think, numbers are going down because of the vaccine, so that's good. Finally, a direct. About time. I'm gonna get this in HD. Oh, is this Xenoblade DLC? Oh, sh wait, no, they're not putting him in Smash, are they? Holy shit. Finally. Good on Sakurai, so this is it. One day, Pyra just disappeared. I don't know. I don't think this could be DLC because it's been, what, two years? Like, this was a launch year title, right? It's four years old. Smash. I couldn't find it anywhere. I keep forgetting that they're all British. It was as if she vanished off the face of all rest. Without a trace. Where have you gone? Why does this seem like I'll it's find going you calm. whatever it takes. I see Battlefield. This is where you were. Pyra! That's fine destination. Sorry, Rex. I couldn't tell you. Because I got an invitation to join Smash! Nice. Huh? Oh, goodbye to you, buddy. Nice. Oh, I thought I was gonna be in Smash. Just sit back and leave it to me, Rex. Nice. Oh, another sword fighter, god damn it. Whoa, that's sick. Why don't you smash it with fire? So, should we put a change in the throw? Or? Oh, they are doing a transformation thing. Mithra! Cutting it close, huh? Oh, hey, were these guys planning on me? Gee, I feel kind of bad now. Coming through! Nice. Like I run Mithra. Sure. There's the internet theory. Sweet. Also, I see they've been smashified a little bit because they fucking have pants. <laughs> and the game has to stay, uh, what was it, E10 or T? Something Whoa. like that. You can even use that. It's the final smash. It's a counter, yeah. Right so you two can swap between each other freely. Serious fire and blinding speed. Together, nothing can stand our way. Cool. Quite respectable, aren't they? Wait, grumps? He's a stage. Oh, I've missed this whole body. Mind if I watch a while? Oh, look, our friends are here. And there's a boy. Oh, nice, like with Joker. Oh, I'll lend you a hand. Sacred arrow! Burning Soul! Nailed it! Ooh, two different kind of smashes. Nice. 
Yes. Shulk? What are you doing here, Shulk? I never expected to see you two again. Well, now that you're in Smash, I won't go easy on you. Ooh, fighting words. You forget. We're fighters too! Fun. Alright, that's a good option. That's a good option. Pyro and Mitha. <laughs> the little ESRB rating. Pyra and Mithra. I'm, I'm happy with that. That's a nice choice. Nathan. Hello, everyone. It's been a while. I'm Shinya Takahashi from Nintendo. What's up, Takahashi? Last year, we delivered some news through a series of Nintendo Direct mini presentations. Mm -hmm. However, we haven't been able to present a Nintendo Direct in this style for some time. Yeah, I wonder why. <laughs> I'm happy to share this Nintendo Direct with you all today. We appreciate your continued support. Okay, what you just saw was the reveal trailer for the newest fighter in the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate game, Pyra a and thing, isn't there? They originally appeared in the Xenoblade Chronicles series as Rex's two-in-one ally. Please look forward to seeing their moveset in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. This fighter when? releases in March, so we hope you'll stay tuned just a bit longer. Nice, yeah, like in a month or All so. Alright, let's continue with our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Cool. Ooh. Oh, Fall Guys on Switch. Nice. Finally, it's on another freaking platform. That took long enough. Now it's not just on PlayStation PC. Now you can play it portably, too. Perfect. This Switch is the crown. Nice. Nice. I'm happy with Fall Guys being on Switch. That took long enough. It doesn't look bad, either. Toward greatness when Fall Guys Stop. Ultimate Knockout comes to the Nintendo Switch system summer 2021. Oof, summer? Ooh, the game's already kind of dead. That might be bad too. But good. Find on another platform. You have 22 minutes before the solar system is destroyed. What? Ooh, and a partner. Venture into the vast reaches of space to uncover the secrets left behind by an ancient civilization. You have 22 minutes. After that, the sun will explode and the solar system will be annihilated. However, everything will reset, allowing you to continue exploring while retaining information you gathered. By repeating these cycles, you'll gradually unravel the mysteries hidden in the universe. What messages will you discover? How can you prevent the sun from exploding? Why is the solar system trapped in an endless time loop? Find out when the critically acclaimed Outer Wilds launches on Nintendo Switch Summer 2021. I feel like I've heard of that in like a Sony presentation, but I don't remember. Put your sleuthing skills to the test in two classic murder mystery games. What, like Clue? Famicom Detective Club, The Missing Heir, and Famicom Detective Club, The Girl Who Stands Behind. Two deep cuts from Nintendo history are coming to North America for the first time. Cool. Some Japanese imports. And modernized for the Nintendo Switch system. Suspense, drama, and twists and turns await at Village B. Corner. God, it's like me naming my villagers as Minecraft. you dive into these deep narratives set in Japan. In one game, you'll solve a complex murder case surrounding a wealthy family in a haunted village while dealing with amnesia. But that's not the only case to crack. New one, probably. This is a neat. In the other game, cuts. you'll investigate a supernatural rumor after a mysterious death to free students from a sinister nightmare. Interrogate suspects and hunt for clues to piece together these chilling conundrums. Can you figure out who the culprit is before it's too late? <laughs> Hmm. Uncover the deadly truth in Famicom Detective Club The Missing Heir and Famicom Detective Club The Girl Who Stands Behind. 
coming to Nintendo Switch May 14th. Pre-orders okay. begin today on Nintendo eShop. I'm not gonna pick that up, but that seems cool. Some Japanese imports. A new age of battles begins. What is this? Hmm. Is this another, like, Warriors game? But cool. I've just I've never heard of that. The latest entry in the Samurai Warriors franchise is coming to Nintendo Switch. Dive into the history of the Sengoku period as the series now shines the spotlight on Nobunaga Oda and Mitsuhide Akechi. Character designs and visuals have been revamped for this installment. Unleash high octane moves in electrifying 1 versus 1000 battles. Oh, I'm playing the shit of Hyrule Warriors, so. Five, slashing just its way onto that. Nintendo Switch, summer 2021. Like, I was so busy lately. They just do so much crap. They put out a game in six months later, they got another one. The vast world of Fadiel beckons. After 20 long years, Legend of Mana, featuring remastered mm. HD graphics, is coming to Nintendo Switch. Wasn't it already on Switch? I thought they announced that like You'll a year ago. You'll set off on a journey to find the mystical mana tree seen in a dream. Love Before the discovering the world map is empty. During your travels, you'll acquire special items called artifacts. Place them on the map to bring towns, dungeons, and other lands to life. Hmm. It's up to you on when and where to place artifacts, as well as how to advance the story. Join forces with characters, each on their own personal quests. Square off against fearsome monsters. Not for me, or but take cool. a break from adventure and rest up at home. The music has been rearranged for this enhanced version, and you can alternate between the new arrangement and the original soundtrack. Other features have been added, including the ability to turn off enemy encounters, as well as the new minigame Ring Ring Land. Legend of Mana will launch on Nintendo Switch June 24th. Yeah, I thought that was already out, but I guess I guess not. Monster Hunter. Yeah, that's Monster Hunter. Yeah. Yeah, that's Monster Hunter. Nice. Games that are cool, but I'm not gonna play pretty much most of these except Smash so far. But I'm really glad there's more games finally coming out. That's <laughs> one weird looking monster. It spits some mud or something. Elder, I have important news. So it's finally beginning. Go assemble the villagers. Fifty years ago, Kamuro Village was attacked by the Rampage and Magnum Malo. And we suffered some devastating casualties. How can we fight against that? Our hunter is about to face the biggest challenge go, yet! Go. No! We can't lose this game! Pull yourselves together! You're not getting in! Let's go, everyone! Go rampage somewhere else! Uh, you listen to me now! Here it comes! Watch out for the apex! Do not let it pass! The rampage? How long do you think it's going to last? Yep, it's a new monster in her. Not my game, Inoa, but cool. We should start preparations right away. 
We're here to offer assistance. We must stop the calamity. Calamity. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, it's a game that's coming out next month. Okay, that's a pretty sweet looking uh, switch and pro controller. It's pretty cool. That was the latest trailer for Monster Hunter Rise from Capcom. Is there a demo? How will our heroes fare against these ferocious monsters? Stay tuned for the latest installment in the Monster Hunter series, launching March 26th. Eh. Next, please take a look at this. Any first party stuff? Hey, a golf game! All right, finally. Tee off on the latest installment That's of the Mario enough. Golf series, coming to Nintendo Switch. Super Rush. Study the wind nice. and terrain. Well, Take now I found a game my dad will play. Through. Golf. Then swing. Boomers. I swear to God. Enjoy golfing with familiar Mushroom hmm. Kingdom characters on courses filled with lush, natural scenery. This is a game I'll pick up. Oh. Use features on the greens, like a shot gauge, to see how your shot will curve due to slopes. Hmm. And a scan that lets you examine a course's terrain. These features can help you ace your shots. In addition to button controls, you can also use motion controls hey, it's by like a holding weekend. a Joy-Con controller like a golf club. Gently swing the controller to have your character swing in the game, letting you easily enjoy the sensation of golfing. On top of all that, there are several modes with new elements that truly bring the heat to Mario Golf, including this one, Speed Golf. Speed Golf. Here, it's always your turn. Everyone oh, tees off at the same time, then you'll race through the course to reach your ball. Give it another whack to get it closer to the hole, then keep going. Outpace your opponents to come out on top. Your golfing skills aren't the only things at play. Make use of dashes and special shots to beat the competition. Oh, did we mention Jeez. story mode? As a me character, you'll start out as a rookie and develop your golfing skills while interacting with various Mushroom Kingdom characters. Level up with experience points earned during matches. Then, allocate oh. points to different stats, allowing you to develop your character however you'd like. You can also use your me in versus play. Put your golfing skills to the test when Mario That's a good Golf summer title. Super Rush swings That's on a very Nintendo good title. Switch June 25th. That'll be fun. Pre-orders begin on Nintendo eShop after this presentation. That's good. I'm finally a golf game. The latest game in the Mario Golf series adds new gameplay for multiplayer modes, as well as the familiar golf gameplay with easy-to-learn controls. Please look forward speak off looks to this insane. game that looks real Nintendo fun. Switch. Let's move on to more Nintendo Switch headlines. Check out these games coming to Nintendo Switch. Return to the unforgiving world of Pandora in Tales from the Borderlands. Ah. Play as the Hyperion lackey Reese and the quick-witted con artist Fiona as you set out to recover a mountain of cash. Is this a Telltale game? Set between Borderlands 2 and 3, this game includes all five episodes filled with classic Borderlands humor. Gangsters, bandit lords, and vault hunters are just a handful of the obstacles you'll encounter in this choice-driven narrative adventure. Embark on a wild ride when Tales from the Borderlands launches on Nintendo Switch March 24th. Huh. 32 of Capcom's Ooh. most beloved arcade classics are coming to Nintendo Switch. Rewind gameplay, adjust game speed or difficulty, and select from a variety of display options to relive that sweet arcade goodness. Get 1943 The Battle of Midway for free, then purchase game packs or the <laughs> standalone Ghost and Goblin. I already have that coming from a Japanese company. Local co op play is also available. Scratch that nostalgic <sighs> itch when Capcom again. Arcade Stadium launches later today. Brains. As a zombie, you just can't get enough of it. In this action game from Aspire, you'll build your zombie horde and take revenge on the city by turning humans into your undead allies. Replenish your bodily arsenal of sputum head, gut grenades, and more during your grisly mission. This city ain't no match for a dead man. Stubbs the zombie in Rebel Without a Pulse eats its way onto Nintendo Switch March 16th. 
Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Nah. It's Travis Touchdown mm. versus Assassins. Wait, aliens? Oh, good. Aliens have invaded Earth. Number three. Hold up, is this even the right game? Anyway, after annihilating an entire city, the aliens have taken over and now host an intergalactic superhero ranking tournament to decide Earth's fate. Here we go. As the crass, beam katana wielding assassin Travis Touchdown, you'll need to fight your way to the top to save the world. Hey, 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 not so fast. To enter each boss fight, you'll have to do some odd jobs around town and earn enough to pay off the entry fee. You'll then face off against a slew of unusual opponents. Most of them aliens with some crazy tricks up their sleeves. Study their tactics carefully to gain the upper Ow. hand in combat. With a new and improved death glove, you'll have access to a variety of deadly skills that can be customized and upgraded before each match. The fate of the world is at stake. So get ready to kick some, uh, whatever aliens have that you can kick. Anyway, it'll all make sense when No More Heroes 3 lands on Earth. Or, you know, Nintendo Switch August 27th. That was a nice touch. You didn't have to do that. That was a nice touch. Exterminate demons in he heaven. Right. And Annapurna again. As above, so below. Why do they need assassins in heaven? <laughs> to do someone's dirty work. Oh, that's cool. It's like a from a runner, I guess. That'd be pretty cool. Doesn't look like my kind of game, but not bad. It's kill or be killed. You won't last long if you can't rely on yourself. God's judgment has nothing to do with it. I guess that's cool. Uncover Heaven's Mysteries in Neon White, coming to Nintendo Switch Winter 2021. That's a late game. That's not first half of the year. The DC Superhero Girls are here to save the day. Okay. Hi, everyone. My name's Barbara Gordon. Fucking hell. AKA Batgirl. I'm always inventing new gadgets to fight crime, like my batarangs and backup. Yeah, that's uh. This is Supergirl. Okay. She's super strong and has heat vision. Plus, it is a Nintendo rap. presentation. It's not Sony, and so they're gonna be showing this kitty crap. An Amazonian warrior who wields the Kill lasso me. of truth. Along like, with our it. friends Green Just Lantern, Bumblebee, and Zatanna, we fight evil supervillains to keep our city safe. But we're not just about the super life. We also have our school lives. And trust me, there's never a dull moment at Metropolis High School. Ugh. Sometimes it'd be nice to get out of class and do some shopping downtown with my besties. Ooh, and maybe take some photos to share on Superstar Post while we're at it. Hey, hey, I got a comment already. Nice. Ooh, and I definitely want to hit up Sweet uh. Justice later. Uh-oh, something really bad is threatening the city. No one could have seen it coming, but when justice calls, you can count on us to answer no matter what. This looks so bad. We just got to make sure no one figures out our secret identities. DC Superhero Girls Teen Power heroically sourced onto Nintendo Switch June 4th. Nope. Nope. Ready the juice cannons and prepare for battle. Is this a rabbit's game? Sponsors of zombies. I think. It looks like it is. Huh. It is. because I don't want to get copy struck. Um, oh my god, these look so bad. I just... Uh, god. Can we do some first party stuff? More than just golf and smash? Like, Breath of the Wild or 
Age of Calamity DLC or like can we have something that isn't this third party stuff I don't know man I know I'm impatient but wait yeah, PopCap. God, they ruined PopCap. Who will join you in your adventure? Hint, anyone can. Band together Ooh, on a quest is coming to, to face Switch. evil cool. and save faces. Metopia is coming to Nintendo Switch. Huh. Cast me characters in various roles across the kingdom. Turn your favorite people into your allies, or even make someone the nefarious Dark Lord. Yeah, they can't do Reggie anymore. Makeup so. has been added so. as a new feature in this game. Glam up okay. your mees and get them ready for adventure. There's also a new wig feature, letting you go wild with your me creations and make them even more fabulous. No, the right is in creepy. the world of Metopia, relationships are key. So consider spending some quality time with allies to strengthen bonds. This can give you an advantage during battle. If your relationship's sour, though, things might take a turn for the worse. Whoa! You can have a horse as an ally? That sounds pretty barn good! Care for it, and it'll lend a hand, or poof, in battle. Venture with friends and familiar faces in the lighthearted romp, Metopia. Coming to Nintendo Switch, May 21st. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. That's kinda neat. I have a 3DS, so. I've never played on 3DS, so why not? Super Mario themed items are coming oh, yeah. to your island. The death of 3D All Stars. Super Mario Bros. 35th anniversary themed Someone items called are coming this. to I the Animal who, Crossing New Horizons game. Familiar items mm, like the nice Super touch. Mushroom and the Question Block can be ordered in game as furniture items. Huh. So place them however and wherever you'd like. You can also place two warp pipes. Huh. Then use them to travel between locations on your island. Hey, why not try recreating the Mushroom Kingdom? That's kind of cool. A free update for the game launches February 25th. Nice. After downloading it, Super Mario Brothers items will be available via Nook Shopping starting March 1st. Hmm. Keep an eye on the official Animal Crossing Twitter account for the latest information. It's interesting that they tell you to go to Twitter and not their channel. Never seen that we before. hope you continue enjoying life on your island. That game has done gangbusters. How was that? These collaboration Sorry. items will be released as part of the Super Mario Bros. 35th anniversary events. Please wait a bit longer for their release. I mean, like, a week and a half? Speaking of which, last week, we had the global launch for the Super Mario 3D World so plus fun. Bowser's Fury game. We hope you enjoyed that Mario adventure as well. Next, we have another game to show you. This be good. Is this, um... Bravely Default? He leaves us no recourse! Swords! Never. S. Frost will answer for its crimes today. Are these the wages of loyalty? Raised earth and burnt corpses. You and no other must decide how we proceed. You are a leader and must be the beacon others look to when the night is darkest. Together with these fields, today you burn. I promise to do all in my power to see us through this safely, every last one of us. Project Triangle Strategy. Oh, it's not Bravely Default. Far, far away lies the continent of Norzilia, comprised of three nations and limited deposits of salt and iron. 
The constant feuds among the nations over these precious resources eventually ignited into a great conflict known as the Salt Iron War. Though what? the hostilities ceased with an uneasy truce, decades later the flames of war threatened to engulf the realm once again. So you are all that remains. Caught in a tangled, fiery web of plots and conspiracies, a brave group from Glenbrook fights to save their kingdom from the powers that would orchestrate their downfall. Our benefit, you say? In this new tactical RPG, battles take place on terrain with different elevations. A character's oh. attack range is determined by their location and their equipped weapon. The range can be extended by attacking from higher ground with long-range cool. weapons, such as bows and arrows. Thus, your forces can use the terrain and other elements to gain the upper hand. An enemy outflanked is susceptible not only to your initial attack, but also a powerful blow from the ally positioned behind the enemy. What have we here? Hmm. Huh. Charge into an enemy to send them flying into position for a follow-up attack. We win. Link attacks together by first casting ice magic on the flames to create water terrain. Then electrify the area with lightning magic. Huh. It is of the utmost importance to survey the battlefield before taking action. Throughout the story, you will be faced with making important decisions in a variety of situations. Utility, morality, liberty. Collectively, your decisions will establish your conviction, affecting how the story unfolds and who will join your cause. Huh. Once more, I would ask you plainly, do we or don't we relinquish Prince Roland to Estrost? Critical decisions that may determine the fates of nations are settled by vote on the scales of conviction. Use information you've gathered to sway allies toward your favored cause. The story will significantly change based on how the votes are cast. So they refuse to relinquish him to us. Lies! His hand was forced! As more and more critical decisions are made, your journey may take you down paths divergent from those of other players. You will see what true might is. Project Triangle Strategy, a brand new tactical RPG from Square Enix, will launch in 2022. Please be on the first half of the year, my ass. In the future. First half of the year, my ass. After this presentation, a demo version of this game will be available to download on Nintendo eShop. And in the future, we'll conduct a survey to gather player feedback. We look forward to hearing your responses on the demo. <sighs> Please look cool. forward to future updates on this brand new tactical RPG from Square Enix. Yeah, first half of my okay, ass, though. Let's see a few more Nintendo Switch headlines. Calling all hunters. Do you have what it takes? Powers. Oh, it's from Zynga. Ugh, never mind. Star Wars Hunters is a competitive, free-to-play online game set between Episodes 6 and 7. Clash in this third-person shooter coming to Nintendo Switch in 2021. All right, let's do this. All right, Sal? Hmm. Do I look at you or the camera? Knockout City interviews, take one. We all play for different reasons. Hmm. Corgan love battle. Gorgon used many weapons. Triple-bladed war axe, spear of misery, Hades soul-devouring crossbow. A princess is supposed to lead her people, not be stuck up in some tower waiting for a hero. My line of work? Bullets are constantly whizzing past you. Flaming longsword, blade of doom. Just once, just once I'd like to catch one of them bullets. You know, with my hands. 
With this crown, I'm gonna lead my team to victory and kick some serious ass! <laughs> Look, it's simple. Corgan want new weapon! In Knockout City, I'm like a kung fu master. I can catch bullets! Cupid, bass. The fight for survival starts now. I don't know. Hang on tight, because you're all going to play a little game of fate for me. From the creators of the Danganronpa and Zero Escape series comes a fight for your life, literally. Disoriented and trapped in an underwater theme park, the 12 of you, known as the Go-Getters Club, must now survive this game of fate at all costs. scare you all, but the game is canceled! The game is suddenly called off. You escape the theme park and get a glimpse of Japan, but everyone's vanished. Set off on a captivating journey across the country that blends side-scrolling action with suspenseful narrative. I'm the one behind the whole game of fate! As you make your way back home to Tokyo, you'll alternate between working solo and teaming up with the group to overcome challenges and monsters that stand in your way. What awaits you all at the end of your journey? The battle for survival begins in World's End Club, venturing onto Nintendo Switch, May 28th. A lot of RPGs. A lot of RPGs. Wield the powers of Olympus with the physical release of Hades. Ah, it's game physical release. Hades, the critically acclaimed dungeon crawler and recipient of multiple Game of the Year awards, is getting a physical release on Nintendo Switch. This version comes with a couple of extras to assist you on your journey out of the underworld. The first is a PC download code for the Hades original soundtrack. It's packed with two and a half hours of blood pumping music composed by Darren Korb, known for his work on previous supergiant titles like Transistor and Bastion. The second is a 32 page full color character compendium featuring portraits of the game's vibrant cast of gods, ghosts, and monsters, all by supergiant's art director, Gen Z. And let's not oh. forget the game itself, offering dozens of hours of exhilarating action paired with a compelling story. Escape the underworld again, or for the first time, with the physical version of Hades on March 19th. Cool. Three deadly action games, one masterful collection. No idea. Ninja Gaiden Sigma. Ninja Gaiden. Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2 and Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge are coming to Nintendo Switch as the action-packed Ninja Gaiden Master Collection. Wait, is Ninja Gaiden an Xbox title? Isn't that owned by Microsoft? You are the legendary ninja Ryu Hayabusa, fighting against a great evil with battle skills that are second to none. Wield an arsenal of killer weapons, each offering a playstyle with different set of lethal skills, along with ruthless ninjutsu to swiftly take down enemies. <laughs> Quickly gauge your opponent's movements while unleashing fast and frenzied combos. And team up with other super ninjas in your quest to fulfill your destiny. All previous downloadable content, including costumes and game modes, are included. Revel in the intensity of Ninja Gaiden in one dynamic collection. Ninja Gaiden Master Collection slices its way onto Nintendo Switch Summer 2021. More battles oh boy. are coming DLC. to Hyrule Warriors, Age of Calamity. Ah, uh, I have nothing with the game. Oh, 
expansion pass. Crap. Cool, we're adding new characters the rest of the year. That's neat. I'll buy it. Because I'm trying to finish the game. It's not coming until summer, There's so even more helps me coming out. to Nintendo Switch. Bravely Default is. 2 is almost here. Four Heroes of Light will soon embark on a journey to restore the crystals. Use the job system to develop your characters and master the Brave and Default commands to emerge victorious in turn-based battles. I live to fight. Veterans and newcomers to the series can enjoy this brand new story on February 26th. A new trailer for Bravely Default 2 will be revealed following this presentation. Well, not much of that. The game can be pre-ordered on Nintendo eShop. An updated demo is also available. The latest installment in the legendary Ghosts and Goblins God. series comes to life. As no. the brave knight Arthur, you'll unleash weapons, spells, and skills to battle monsters across challenging stages within the demon realm. Local co-op play is also available for the first time. Help Arthur in his quest with one of three supporting characters. Barry for defense, Carrie for transportation, or Archie for bridges. Ghosts and Goblins Resurrection launches February 25th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Eight protagonists, eight captivating journeys. Saga Frontier has been remastered for Nintendo Switch. Travel through a stunning sci-fi world with any of the protagonists, each with their own stories. With the addition of the playable protagonist Fuse, new gameplay features, exhilarating battles, and a new scenario for the protagonist Acellus, Saga Frontier Remastered is an adventure not to be missed. The game launches April 15th. Never to that, but okay. Apex Legends is storming there into is. the Nintendo Oof, Switch system. That looks rough. This free-to-play battle royale features a growing roster of powerful contenders named Legends, strategic combat, cross-platform play, and more. All players on Nintendo Switch can get an all-new Legendary Pathfinder skin and 30 free levels for the Season 8 Mayhem Battle Pass. Plus, for the first two weeks after launch, earn double XP when you play on Nintendo Switch. Fight for fortune, fame, and glory when Apex Legends enters the fray March 9th. Cool. How's it going so far? Yeah, 10 minutes left. There's still a little bit more to show you in today's Nintendo the Direct, too, please. so we hope you'll stick with us. Please, Next, the too. please take a look at this. Yes! Hello there, Anuma. I'm Eiji Aonuma, producer of the Legend of Zelda series. I'm sure a lot of you saw me and thought there might be news about the sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild game. No, there's not. Unfortunately, we don't have anything to share right now. Uh... We apologize. Development is proceeding smoothly, and we should be able to bring you some new information this year. Fucking For now, Christ. we'll have to ask you to wait just a bit longer. God damn it. <laughs> While you're all waiting, however, this Legend of Zelda game will be coming to Nintendo Switch. Skyward Please Sword or one liquor? I bet. Something. Where did you get three master? That's Skyward Sword. Holy shit, that's Skyward Sword. HD remaster of Skyward Sword. Nice. Cool. Let well, me fixed all the glaring glaring issues people have with it. Hey, you want to get this complete opposite of Breath of the Wild? Here you go. Oh. What about Windwicker and Twilight Princess, though? Are those stuck on Wii U? I have them, but still. Nice. I will take Skyward Sword HD. What you've just seen is The Legend of Zelda Skyward like Sword ago? HD. Screw this game originally released in 2011 on the Wii console, and now it's coming to Nintendo Switch. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword featured a control scheme in which players would use the Wii Remote Plus controller as a sword and the Nunchuck controller as a shield. With the increased processing power of the Nintendo Switch system, the controls here are smoother and even more intuitive. Right. And we've recreated the controls for the sword and the shield here by having the player hold two Joy-Con controllers. The Joy-Con controller in your right hand is the sword. Swing it to have Link swing his sword in the game. The Joy-Con controller in your left hand is the shield. By lifting the controller, you can raise the shield to block enemy attacks. You can perform other actions like using both controllers to wield a bow and arrow. 
These physical movements add a sense of urgency and tension to combat. But we've also made it possible to play the game with button controls to ensure yeah. it can be played in Motion handheld controls. mode or on the Nintendo Switch Lite system. After mulling over how to assign different gameplay elements to different buttons, we decided to apply the sword motions to tilting the right control stick. Mm. Tilt the stick down when you want to swing the sword downward. Hmm. To swing to the right, to the left, or diagonally, just tilt the stick in the respective direction. Here's something else we've been working on. Specially designed Joy-Con controllers. The right Joy-Con controller is themed after the Master Sword, while the left features a Hylian Shield motif. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, as the game depicting the earliest story in the Legend of Zelda timeline, details the events around the creation of the Master Sword itself. We hope that people who played the original game on Wii, and those playing it for the first time, will enjoy discovering the origins of the Legend of Zelda. Nice. July. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword hmm. HD launches July 16th. That's good. It's a good time to launch Following it. this Nintendo Direct, you'll be able to pre-order the game on Nintendo eShop. And oh, the specially course. designed Joy-Con controllers will launch on the game's release date at your local retailers. Many of you may already know this, but The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword was the last original console game prior to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild game, and it was still following the established conventions of The Legend of Zelda. However, it gave a glimpse into many features and innovations that would eventually be adopted in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Using the sailcloth to descend in midair, a stamina gauge that depleted as you scaled walls with vines or ran. Even the concept of collecting items to upgrade gear. I hope those of you who've played The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild will give this game a try as well. Please look forward to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. Okay, so I guess Breath of the Wild's not ready yet. Well, probably some what did you think? information. Probably on the, the Legend of Zelda Sword Skyward Sword has been optimized for Nintendo right Switch. Right after. It includes intuitive motion controls and button controls by tilting the right control stick. Okay, the next game will be our last announcement for today. Please take a look at this. Splatoon? Wait, what? Splatoon. What? Why are we in a desert? What in the hell? You get one of these guys as your friend. That is great. What the fuck is this? Why are we in a desert? That is crazy. I have not expected Splatoon 3. I thought we'd get like one per console generation. Because we're not doing the Mario Kart strategy. Whoa. Look at 
Hoping spawn. expect that what you've just seen is the latest installment in the Splatoon series Splatoon 3 this game is scheduled to launch in 2022 so it'll be a while we hope you'll stay tuned for more information at a later time that's weird today oh boy. we showed you a sampling of games coming to Nintendo switch a variety of games are in development and we look forward to sharing more news with you in the future. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. Oh, that's 50 minutes. Okay. Um. Huh. Okay. That's uh. That was an alright direct. Some some really cool stuff. Scarlet Heart HD, Age of Calamity DLC, uh, Splatoon 3, Mario Golf, bunch of indie titles bunch of stuff that looks like trash that was all right it was a good uh a good restart i understand why it's zelda's probably delayed I'm, sure, I'm assuming that like the development got i'm assuming it's supposed to be, it was probably supposed to be out this year and uh it got delayed because the pandemic that's my guess so that's all right i, I get it but yeah they said more information this year so i'm assuming we won't hear anything until around uh scarlet's red hd comes out um probably unless they do something around e3 time depending on what's going on in the world but uh yeah it was it was an alright direct we got pyro mithra and smash too almost forgot not bad not bad all right thanks for watching everybody have a good day goodbye